Hello. Today I wanted to spend just a few moments to talk about smoking. If you're a smoker, I'm sure you've heard many lectures about lung cancer and heart disease, etc., that are made worse simply by smoking. But what people don't understand is the effect of smoking on the spine. Why should smoking affect the spine? The reason is, just like any other part of your body, the spine needs oxygen. And what happens in a smoker is the amount of oxygen going to the spine is significantly reduced. So if you look at your spine here, what you have is you have your, this is called the vertebral body, followed by the disc, followed by the vertebral body, and here's your spinal cord here. The reason I just wanted to show you this model is the most important thing for you to focus on here is the disc. The disc needs a significant amount of oxygen. And by smoking, what happens is this disc degenerates or goes away at a much faster rate. So as we age, all of our discs degenerate to a certain extent, but in smokers, that process is much faster. So as a result, at the age of 20, you're actually almost at the age of 40 or something like that. That's the first thing. The second thing is that when we do complex surgery, such as pedicle screw fixations, and we're trying to make bone grow in these type of what we call fusion surgeries, we need a lot of oxygen to that area. And the chance of that happening is much, much less in a smoker compared to a non-smoker. Now, it's not the actual smoke that matters. What it is, is the nicotine. So simply placing a nicotine patch, although it's a good technique to potentially quit smoking, is not ultimately the answer. But more importantly, over time, it's important that you completely quit or get off the nicotine, and that will allow the oxygen to come back to your spine and create a much healthier spine. Thanks.